Hey guys, it's Simon here, and maybe you want to learn this lick. Oh wait, these licks. In fact, you can learn this entire solo, so check it out. Now, if you look in the description under the video on YouTube, you'll find a link to a completely free tab of this entire solo, so you can watch the video and see how I play the solo, and read the tab at the same time if you feel like it. And if you do that, then please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that notification button. That allows me to let you know when I have new lessons coming out. And if there's a certain part of this video you want to check out, just check out the playlist right here. You can see where every little lick is being demonstrated in this video. First of all, the um, the backing track I'm playing over is really simple. It's this C minor seven kind of uh, funky thing. So it's just a C minor groove and then it ends on this G7 chord. And at the end of the video, there is the free backing track that you can play over. So if you want to have a go at it, just go to the end of the video and shoot. So we don't have a lot to play over, but the cool thing about that is then that allows you to decide what do you want to play. And uh, the first little lick is uh, basically outlining the C minor seven chord. I'm playing this lick. And what that is, is the first three notes are from C to E flat to B flat. Which is basically the C minor seven chord. C to E flat to B flat. And then I'm walking down from B flat to A flat and G. Really simple. And then I'm just adding a note that's not really within the C minor pentatonic scale. It's this one right here. And I'm using that. It's half step below the G. And I'm using that to slide into back into the G again. So it's like this. And before I play that slide, I'm using a sort of a muted note, which is the uh, the C right here. It's the um, the root note, like this. And then I'm muting the C again and playing the E flat, like this. From E flat hammering on to F sliding down to C. That's the first little sequence, if we add just a little bit again. Now, the important thing is you have to play it with kind of a, like a funky swing. And you can add all sorts of flavors to that little lick. But I like it because it has this this little sliding note, and um, it's something that I do a lot, adding sort of outside notes uh, that are close to the scale, like in this case a half step uh, under the uh, the C minor seven pentatonic scale, like this. So all these notes that are like a half step below the scale or the the C minor chord are great for sliding back into the chord. And I do that quite a lot. And I also use this technique at the end of the solo over the uh, C minor seven arpeggio, but I'm gonna get to that. Okay, so now we have this lick. And I'm down here at the third fret, and then I'm sliding to get into the sweep picking. I'm sliding all the way from this position all the way up to the 10th fret on the A string. So I'm sliding from this C right here up to this G. So once I get up to the G note right here, these are the notes in the sweep. 
and the sweep sounds like this. And the notes are and so I'm kind of outlining this chord. So G, E flat, G, and B flat, and D. And the important thing when you're doing a sweep like this is that every note has to be separated from the other notes. Not like this, but you can hear all the notes. And you don't want to play it too fast either. You want to have this really subtle sweeping motion. And many times when I do a sweep like this, I use it to uh, to uh, sweep into the minor third, which is the E flat right here. So I'm doing this. Something like that, you know. So you don't have to run really fast up and down the neck. The sweep itself is a really great technique. Uh, really expressive, I think. So I'm playing. And when I hit that D note right here, I'm doing a hammer on to E flat and F and back down again to E flat and D again, like this. And then. And then I'm hitting the octave up here, which is this F right here. And sliding up to G. And from G, I'm going into a new technique, which is, again, I'm using chromatic notes to get from G to G flat to F to E flat, like this. So it says. And then I'm playing C and G. So that sequence says. And again, I'm hitting the octave, G up here and sliding up to B flat and doing again a chromatic uh, pull off. So it says. Like that, you know. And now in the last part of the solo, I'm playing this C minor seven arpeggio that I play all the time. And uh, maybe you've seen some of my other videos and you know this arpeggio already, but if you don't, I'm playing from C to E flat. Hammering on, then I'm sweeping into G and B flat. Like that. Playing the E flat, again, sweeping into it. And then sweeping into G and hammering on to B flat. Like this. Right, but in this case, I'm adding another note when I get to the top of the arpeggio like this. So I'm playing G to A flat to B flat. And here comes the sort of outside note, which is this right here. It's the F sharp note that I'm sliding into G again like this. Same note again. I mean, you don't want to land here. It's going to sound really out of key. But if you do it like this, it's going to sound really great. So the last part of it says, so we are playing, and those notes are E flat to B flat. And then I play the exact same sequence I played on the E string, but now I'm playing it on the B string, this one. I'm just playing it here. And the notes are D to E flat to F, and then I'm sliding into the D again. Like that. And now all we need to do is to play the E flat and B flat and C, and then we're back home on the root note. And I'm just doing a little bit of a, like a bluesy bend, sliding from C up to E flat, and just bending a little bit. Like that. Well, folks, there you have it. I really hope you dig this solo. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I hope you dig the backing track and the free tabs and all that good stuff. Have fun with it. Now, originally, I wrote this tune to be used at two clinics I did with my good buddy, Sun Reef, great guitar player. We did two clinics together at Copenhagen Guitar Show, and I will leave a link to a video of that. Hopefully, you want to check that out, too. 
And remember, hit the subscribe button and notification button. Tell all your friends about my channel and uh, these lessons so we can have more people watching. And take care and come back and see me. Bye. Mm-hmm.